Hey, history buffs. Welcome to another episode of my channel, Legendary Voyages, where history comes alive. Today, we explore the compelling life of Zhao Yun, a name associated with courage, loyalty, and the turbulent era of the Three Kingdoms. Get ready for a roller coaster of epic battles, alliances, and the ultimate sacrifice. Prior to delving into the stories, kindly ensure you watch the entirety of this video until the conclusion as I have prepared riddles for your amusement. Without wasting time, let's unfold the story of Zhao Yun. Before we dive into the nitty gritty, let's get to know Zhao Yun in a nutshell. Zhao Yun's journey, from the Yellow Turban campaign to pivotal battles, changed when he met Liu Bei during the Dong Zhuo campaign. This encounter forged a lasting bond, making him one of Liu Bei's trusted five tiger generals in the Shu Kingdom. These generals were known for their ability to single-handedly fend off at least 500 enemies each, symbolizing their prowess in capturing Chengdu and showcasing their strategic strength. In the turbulent era of the Three Kingdoms, Zhao Yun was born in AD 168 in Zhengding country, Hebei, and was one of the Shu's five tiger generals. In the Yellow Turban campaign led by Yuan Shao, Zhao Yun played a key role in defeating Zhang Zhao's forces in Ji province in AD 180. However, after the rebellion, he chose to align with Gong Sun Zan rather than Yuan Shao. This decision was influenced by his belief that Yuan Shao prioritized his family's status over the well-being of the people. Amidst the chaos following the Yellow Turban Rebellion, Zhao Yun's journey commenced. Initially serving under Yuan Shao, he demonstrated his prowess in the campaign against Zhang Jiao's forces. Driven by a strong sense of justice, he later switched allegiances, aligning first with Gong Sun Zan and subsequently with the virtuous Liu Bei. In the Dongzhou campaign of AD 189-192, Zhao Yun encountered General Liu Bei, marking the beginning of a profound friendship between the two. Following his participation in the Battle of Jie Qiao in AD 191, Zhao Yun shifted his allegiance from Gong Sun Zan to Liu Bei. This transition was prompted by Liu Bei's virtuous qualities and the recognition that he was a leader worth following. Liu Bei's nobility and vision captivated him, sparking a friendship that would shape the course of history. From battles against Cao Cao to the dramatic rescue at the Battle of Guandu, their bond grew stronger with each adversity. While under Liu Bei's command, Zhao Yun played a crucial role in the conflict against Cao Cao in Shu province in AD 193. Moreover, he demonstrated unwavering loyalty when he rescued Liu Bei from the combined forces of Yuan Shao and Cao Cao at the Battle of Guandu in AD 200. This act of allegiance occurred when Liu Bei faced accusations of betrayal due to the actions of his sworn brother Guan Yu, who had slain Yuan Shao's esteemed warriors Yan Liang and Wen Chou. Zhao Yun reaffirmed his commitment to Liu Bei by rescuing him once again during the Battle of Runan later that same year. In AD 208, Zhao Yun played a crucial role in the conflict against Cao Cao, achieving a notable triumph by defeating Xia Hu Dun at the Battle of Bo Wan Po. Later that year, he displayed extraordinary bravery by venturing deep into enemy territory during the Battle of Chang Ban to rescue Liu Bei's infant son, safely returning the child to his father. Liu Bei commended Zhao Yun for his courage and inspiration, recognizing his invaluable contribution to the army. Continuing his dedicated service, Zhao Yun took part in the Battle of Qi Bi from winter AD 208 to early AD 209. After the Qi Bi engagement, he came to Liu Bei's aid again, preventing an attempt on Liu Bei's life by Xing Dao Rong, a warrior serving under Liu Du in the Jing campaign. Later, Zhao Yun captured Guiyang from Zhao Fan. His steadfast loyalty and notable achievements on the battlefield further solidified his reputation as a formidable and devoted warrior in the service of Liu Bei. In the year AD 214, Zhao Yun, along with Huang Zheng, actively participated in the campaign for Chengdu, contributing significantly to Liu Bei's acquisition of substantial territories in Yi province. His notable achievements led to Zhao Yun's ascent to the esteemed rank of one of the five tiger generals of Shu. In AD 219, during the capture of Han Zhang from Cao Cao's forces in the battles of Han Zhang and Ma Dingjun, Zhao Yun continued to showcase his military prowess. Alongside Huang Zhong, he played a crucial role in securing strategic victories for Shu. 
the Battle of Yiling, in which both Zhao Yun and Huang Zhong participated, was cautioned against by Zhao Yun and Zhuge Liang. Unfortunately, this military expedition led to the tragic deaths of Huang Zhong and Zhang Fei, marking a somber chapter in Xu's history. Despite these setbacks, Zhao Yun's strategic insights and contributions remained crucial in shaping the course of Liu Bei's endeavors during the Three Kingdoms period. The journey had its challenges. Despite advising against the ill-fated Battle of Yiling, Zhao Yun experienced the heart-wrenching loss of comrades Huang Zhong and Zhang Fei. Nevertheless, his resilience stood out in battles such as the victorious Battle of Bo Wan Po and the capture of Guiyang. After Liu Bei's death, a year post the Battle of Yi Ling in AD 223, Zhao Yun continued to serve as a seasoned general under Zhuge Liang's leadership in Shu. He actively took part in major military campaigns, including the Nanmen Campaign and the Northern Expeditions. In the Battle of Tian Shui in AD 228, Zhao Yun earned further renown by engaging in a remarkable duel, lasting two minutes where he successfully defeated and killed Han Dei and his sons. This victory showcased Zhao Yun's exceptional martial prowess and strategic acumen. Despite his triumphs, Zhao Yun's final chapter unfolded as he fell ill and passed away shortly after the Battle of Tian Shui, marking the end of an era. He held the distinction of being the last of the five Tiger Generals to pass away, and notably, he was the only one to experience a peaceful death. His legacy endured as a symbol of loyalty, bravery, and skill, leaving an indelible mark on the history of Shu in the Three Kingdoms period. As we say goodbye to the remarkable story of Zhao Yun, we contemplate the lasting impact of a man whose courage goes beyond the pages of history. From the Yellow Turban Campaign to the Battle of Tian Shui, Zhao Yun's life was a tapestry of loyalty, bravery, and steadfast commitment to justice. Join us in the comments section below to share your thoughts on Zhao Yun's remarkable journey. If you enjoyed this journey into history, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching from Legendary Boye's channel. Until next time, stay alert and curious, as I have more tales to share. As we wrap up our exploration of Zhao Yun's life, we witness the transformation of a servant into a legendary figure of the Three Kingdoms. Zhao Yun's story attests to the transformative power of friendship, loyalty, and unwavering determination. From the initial battles against the Yellow Turbans to the victories in Hanzong and Tian Shui, every chapter of Zhao Yun's life echoes the spirit of a bygone era. As we close this chapter, let's carry forward the spirit of Zhao Yun, a symbol of resilience and honor. Remember to explore the rich tapestry of history, for within its folds lie tales of heroes like Zhao Yun, waiting to inspire and captivate. Wait a minute, we are not done yet. I have something for you. Let's give it a try by answering these quizzed questions.
My friends, how are you getting on? So far, so good? Enjoying it? Do you still need more quizzes? Okay, here are further five more for your amusement. Thank you for still with us. If you manage to answer all the quizzes, then give yourself a high five. If you can't get all the answers right, don't worry. Give yourself a big hug and tell yourself that you'll do even better next time. Please let us know which questions you find it easy and which questions you find it tricky. You can leave your comment below. Okay, my friends, that's it for now. Hope you have great fun till then. See you in my next video.